Hi everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com and today on our channel we've got a look at the next generation of Barazza grinders. It's the Barazza Vario Plus. This is the Mac Daddy of automatic grinders. It's pretty impressive. Barazza did not come to play with the Vario Plus. Just the weight alone on this tells me that this thing is ready to go. It's got an extremely high number of grind uh, levels that it can grind to, over 200, everyone. Like, that's pretty impressive alone. Um, it's very, very adjustable, which means that you're going to be able to cover the full range of all the different grind levels that you might necessarily need to do. It's really versatile, and this would be excellent for an at-home coffee shop or even a commercial coffee shop, especially because of the fact that not only can you grind into a catch container, but you can also grind into a porta filter holder. So again, if you have an espresso brewing machine that uses a porta filter, you can easily grind into a porta filter with the Vario Plus. So this is extremely versatile. Let's talk about all the ins and outs of it. First thing I should mention is that in this unit, when you first get it, it's going to have ceramic burrs, 54 millimeter ceramic burrs to be exact. You can replace those with stainless steel burrs if you wish, but the ceramic burrs are probably going to be quite fitting for almost anyone who's going to use the Vario Plus. Cool thing is it's really easy to remove the burrs for cleaning, maintenance, and etc. So let's start at the top of the device right here. We have, of course, our bean hopper, which does have this handle right here, which allows you to open and close that. So that if you had beans in here, you could remove that without having the beans fall everywhere. Let's go ahead and remove the bean hopper. Really easy to do. Just turn it to the left, pull it, lift it away. And then you've got your ceramic burrs right here on the inside. Again, these can be replaced with stainless steel if you wish, but removing these is very easy because included with the Vario Plus is this tool that is specifically for removing the burrs. You'll notice it's got three indentations in it right here, and these are going to line up with the three little posts surrounding the burrs. So you just put it right in there, and then on the top of it, you'll notice that it tells you how to lock, how to unlock and lock the device and which way to turn. So in order to unlock, I'm just going to turn like this. Doesn't take too many turns. And then there's your ceramic burrs. That's your top. And then you have your inner ceramic burr as well. So now you could clean these. And then in order to put it back in, you're just going to set it on top. And then you'll want to turn anti-clockwise, counterclockwise in order to tighten them down, and you can use your handy removal tool to finish locking it down. Don't need to crank it too hard, just turn it until it's not going to go, and then you're good to go. So then, moving down, you now have all of the controls for the Vario Plus. Uh, there is a backlit LCD screen right here that is going to allow you to adjust the grind time that you're going to use on the device. You have two small adjustment handles uh, here, which is the macro grind level right here on my left hand side, and then the micro grind level on my right hand side. And the cool thing about this is that once you find out and work out the proper grind level for uh, the coffee that you want to grind, you can just make a note of that and you can always just easily adjust those back to the perfect level for your grind and it's going to be consistent all the time. So that's one of the big things you're going to find here is not only consistency, also versatility and the ability to grind again at over 200 different grind levels. Then moving on, we have two buttons right here which are going to allow us to adjust the actual grind time. We've got our stop and start button. We've got a memory button right here which allows us to save different time intervals at which we would grind so that way if you know that you need to grind a certain amount all the time, you can do a memory save using that button for the amount of time that you're going to grind. And that is going to coordinate here with the one, two, and three buttons so you can save three different presets for the amount of time that you're going to grind with the Vario Plus. Moving down, we have our catch container right here for our grounds. We also have this nice bright light right here. You can see that. So you're gonna be able to see what it is that you are grinding. Also included with the device is this adjustment tool. This tool will allow you to adjust your uh, grind ever so slightly so that you can really dial it in. And that's gonna take a little bit of work. We'll have a video that will show you how to operate the device in that respect. And then 
we have a portafilter add-on. So this, I should also note, the portafilter add-on is hefty. I mean, again, this accounts for a large amount of the weight on the device. It's really impressive, honestly. There is nothing weak about this. Just this piece alone is gonna really give some heft to the device and we'll attach that in. It slides in really easily. And then you can insert a portafilter and grind directly into the portafilter as well. Because of that light, you'll be able to see what you're grinding and you could adjust your grind if you wanted to, which is really, really cool. So overall, it's an excellent device. The design of it is really actually quite simple, but it, again, feels like a tank. This is something that I think would be great for, again, an at-home coffee shop, but I could also easily see this being used in a commercial coffee shop as well. Now let's get into some technical specs. First of all, the Barazzo Vario Plus will grind from 1.6 to 2.2 grams per second, and the usable ground bean capacity is 180 grams. So essentially you're going to get 180 grams of coffee if you fill your bean hopper up. The entire device weighs about 10 to 11 pounds. That's going to differ a little bit depending on if you have the catch container, which is plastic inserted, or if you are using, again, that quite hefty portafilter edition for the device. Now, we will be publishing a chart which will show you how it is that you can grind with the Vario Plus, but these are basically suggestions. The thing about the Vario Plus is that it is very, very adjustable, not only between the macro and the micro adjustment handles on it, but also with that device which is going to allow you to adjust for finer or more coarse by adjusting the actual burrs themselves using this tool. So because of that, you can use that guide, but remember, it's gonna be important to just kind of find what the perfect grind is for you, the amount of time, the grind level that you set, and etc. We will have a separate video that will talk about all of the adjustability on the Vario Plus, so you can check that video out on our channel as well. And of course, I know everyone wants to see the Vario Plus grind, so we're gonna do a espresso grind and a French press grind real quickly with the device. We've got some lovely Red Rock Roasters coffee right here. Uh, these are, of course, whole beans, and we're going to put a little bit of these into our hopper. Now, right now I have my hopper set to closed, so after I cap it up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the handle on the back to open. And so now it's gonna be ready to grind. So this is where I could make use of the different memory functions for the amount of time that I'm going to grind. These are preset to 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and 30 seconds, depending on how much you want to grind. So you can set your time interval, and then you wanna set your grind level. Now for the Vario Plus, and for grinding espresso, we're going to set this to two and Q. So two on the macro and Q on the micro. So now all we have to do is hit the start button on the front of the Vario Plus. There we go, that's 10 seconds. One thing that is cool that I will mention is that this plastic is anti-static. You're gonna notice that there's not a bunch of coffee grounds or coffee dust that's getting stuck in the catch container, which is really cool. And let's take a look at what we just ground. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's perfect. That's really pretty darn impressive, I gotta say. That's an excellent, excellent grind, especially for an automatic grinder. Uh, a lot of times automatic grinders are not going to be as spot on as that, but that's pretty impressive. For French press, which you're going to do next, we're going to adjust our macro setting to number 10 and our micro to M as in Mary. And now we'll just go ahead and hit the start button again. Again, really cool that that light lets you see everything that is happening, which is super excellent. The anti-static is definitely doing its job. Not a whole lot of grounds or dust are gonna be uh, sticking around, which is really nice. And let's look at what we've got. Now I should mention something. We did a grind here for French press by just setting our macro and our micro to 10M. And we did that grind and we got pretty much what we would say would be pour over consistency, not necessarily French press con consistency. So we did some adjustments to the device as a result. And that's one of the great things about this grinder is how adjustable it is. With most automatic grinders, you are going to essentially be stuck at whatever it is that you're going to get out of the adjustment for that grinder. 
uh, and that's it. You can't really change that too much. But with the Vario Plus, using this tool right here that I mentioned earlier, there's a small hole right underneath where all of your grounds are going to come out. And this is sort of like just a really fancy Allen wrench when you come right down to it. And you're going to pop that up and into that hole. And then if you turn this, you can turn it towards the finer side. You notice it is marked as finer. But if you turn it the other way, you can adjust for a more coarse grind as well. So what we did is we spent a little bit of time working that in in order to get it to about where we wanted it to be. It's also worth mentioning that because this is a new device, it's probably going to take about five pounds of coffee for the burrs to get nicely seasoned and worked in really well so that you're going to start getting those grind levels and the consistency that you want. Right out of the box, this worked excellent for espresso grind. Again, that's what we did at first here. That was perfect. But getting to that level that you need, that coarseness, that nice mix that you need for French press, we did have to dial it in a little bit. So let's go ahead and grind and show you what that's like. Now we'll take a look at what we've got. Oh yeah. So you can see from our insert that we were showing right there that the before and the after are pretty distinct. And the before again would probably work pretty well for pour over, maybe, you know, like your average automatic machine or something like that. But for French press, we did want a more of a coarse grind. So we just adjusted ever so slightly. And now we've got pretty much exactly what it is that we're looking for. And again, you can continue to adjust. We could maybe take this even a little more coarse or just play with it. But that is really the beauty of the Vario Plus, I have to say, is all of the adjustments, the micro and the macro, combined with the ability to do a manual adjustment, it's just really, really cool. It's going to make sure that you can adjust depending also on the type of bean that you're using. Some beans are going to grind differently than other beans. And so when you know what it is that you're grinding, you know the settings you need for the machine, you're really going to get some consistency and that's going to lead to a great cup of coffee. So what is my bottom line with the Barazzo Vario Plus? I think this is honestly the last coffee grinder you would really ever need. It's hefty, it's made super well, it's got a really excellent finish to it. The fit and finish is awesome. It's actually really quite easy to use. It might look a little bit daunting, I think, at first, considering that it's got a lot more going on on the front than what you might be used to with a lot of automatic grinders. But really, that's the beauty of the device, is because that's going to allow you to be able to dial in your grind exactly. And then the fact that it's so versatile, allowing you to to do your grounds into a catch container or to use a porta filter if you wish that's a big deal i could see this very easily being used uh, on your home countertop but really also being used in a commercial shop really easily and it's super fast the amount of coffee i was able to grind in such a small amount of time is really really excellent that hopper is nice and big the catch bin is nice and big the lights that it has and everything i really think it's a super excellent device the only drawback for some folks might necessarily be that it does have a lot of bells and whistles, and some folks might not necessarily like that. But let's face it, once you start to really find the coffee that you like, you're probably going to get a little bit picky, so it's nice to have a grinder that's going to meet your needs for that. And one of the last things that I have to mention that I think is really, really cool about this and an awesome initiative from Barazza, especially in the coffee industry, is their dedication to cutting down on waste. Not only is the box that the device came in, their big brown box as they call it, uh, completely reusable, recyclable, it can be broken down really easily, folded up, and then you could use it for something else or you could recycle it. All of the packaging that comes with the device is very light on the plastic, and what plastic there is is also reusable, which is really, really cool. And additionally, and really one of the coolest things, is that Barazza has really dedicated themselves to no coffee grinders ending up in a landfill. You actually have the ability to replace uh, or repair those parts, and you also get really great support from the folks at Barazza for the device. So all of this put together really does come together into an excellent device, and I think that less waste, zero waste initiative is a big, big thing, especially in this industry. And really, you are in complete control of the grind level with the Vario Plus. It really allows the ultimate in adjustability for an automatic grinder that I've seen, and I think that is the absolute coolest thing about it. You're really going to be able to dial this in perfectly for yourself, uh, others in your home, etc. It's an excellent device with respect to that. 
So there you have it, everyone. That is the Barazza Vario Plus. It's a brand new, really cool grinder, and I've had a lot of fun with it. I hope that you did too. But if you have questions, comments, or anything else that maybe we missed, go ahead and reach out to us in the comments section of this video, or even better, find us at frenchpresscoffee.com where you can find the Vario Plus and all of the other great devices that you might need for your at-home coffee shop. As always, everyone, I am Brian with frenchpresscoffee.com. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care. So did you like that video? Well, if so, give us a like, maybe subscribe to our channel. And if you do, I'll give you a great coffee quote. It's okay, I'll wait. There you go. Thank you so much. And now for the great quote, caffeine, it's not a drug, it's a vitamin.